hate that wall. It's always looking at me funny. <laughs> How we doing, gamers? We have a serious gamer topic. Another house in a block. It's gonna be unbreakable though, because we're making it out of bedrock. They said it was impossible to break. I think not. Science has come far since original Minecraft. I said I was gonna do it, babe. I said I was. Ooh, look at that diamond house. So last episode, I told you we were gonna make some bedrock. <laughs> nah, but seriously, we're gonna make a bedrock house. And I think I'm gonna make it a little bit down the street, if that makes sense. I wanna connect these two houses. I wanna make a collection of small houses. This one is going to be down here, maybe. I think that'll be pretty good. Gotta clear out some of this grass. Now, before I start my bedrock house, I just wanna cover something. If anyone watched Beating Minecraft without placing a single block, everyone was saying, baby, lava's a block. And I say, no, it's not. Not a block because what block do you know that you can place a block inside of it like lava not a block this is a lava block this is not a lava block challenge my gamer knowledge again i dare you my brain is too powerful <laughs> since we left off i have two major advancements one we got a road that leads all the way to the new bedrock house and we also captured a baby zombie don't ask how he was just kind of sitting in the hole and i built a little bedrock prison around him so now all we gotta do close him up okay well don't worry we're gonna put some holes in it so we can breathe not too many holes though we don't want him to get out <laughs> are you in there zombie sounds like he's in there oh yes Hello! Oh yeah, he's in there. You probably won't see your family again, but it's okay. Uh... Don't mad me. You're the one who's a zombie, bro. Like, basically your fault. Guys, I just shrunk myself, and then I shrunk the zombie, too. You can shrink animals. I'm gonna make a tiny zoo. <laughs> Starting with this zombie. I'm gonna see if I can jump down there with him. Just to see if he's okay. Little zombie, you all right, bruv? Bruv? I can almost fit. Yes. Little zombie buddy. What's up, guy? Let's see the height comparison. He's still kind of a baby zombie, even though we've both shrunk down to molecular size. Look, at he's checking me out. What? Are you just mad because we have the same outfit on? It's not my fault you, you shop at the Minecraft store. I mean, everyone shops there. I mean, that's the only store we have. All right, well, he's never getting out of there. I put a few holes in it, obviously. We gotta start on the actual bedrock house. First things first, we gotta do the doorway, baby. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my God, he grew again. <laughs> now he's bigger than me. This is a scary angle. I don't know if I like this. Should I put myself in this dangerous situation? Probably not. But for the viewer's sake, I will do anything. All right, you're just sitting there, zombie. You're, you're chilling. He is no harm to anybody in the neighborhood yet. Yet. All right, so we got the basic shape of the house done. And of course, the second step to every house build is a window. You gotta get that window up in there. Because how do you know if anyone's gonna come attack you if you don't have a window in your house? Seriously, bro. Or you might just wanna look at the sky, see if it's raining, see if you gotta take your winter coat out, whatever, doesn't matter. Second step is obviously you need to have a bed because without a bed, you can't sleep. Oh my God, I'm huge. What have I become? <laughs> at the end of this video, we're going to put this bedrock house to the test and that is why I have the TNT. We're gonna see if my unbreakable house is truly going to be unbreakable because I don't know how this mod works exactly. You might be able to break the bedrock after or not. I guess we'll find out. Hey, yo, check this out. Tiny horse, come here, tiny horse. Come here, let me ride you. Yeah, oh, what? No, come back. He's so fast. Okay, I can't tame the tiny beast. Maybe in a future video, we'll go after it. The task at hand is the Minecraft bed, of course. I also want to see if I can make a use for this lava block. I don't know exactly how it works, but I want to see if it's possible to make a tiny moat around the bedrock house just to make it ultra secure. All right, so I started working on the moat and it's looking pretty good so far. As you can see, we have some lava around, almost all the way around. Look at that. You can fall into it. It's like actually working like lava, which is kind of strange because the block I took it from, you can't fall into it at all. I don't, I don't know how that works, but it's okay because this thing is looking awesome. Oh no. As you can see, I have a walkway that extends to the road, much like the diamond block house. And to make this stand out a little bit better, I think we could add some lava waterfalls. Let's see if we can get it to look cool. Yes. Now we have it coming out of the front of the house. It's looking good. And we can also climb up the lava stream because we're in creative mode, of course. This is so cool. I'm going to add another one. Another one. This is the highlight of my Minecraft career. And that's not even an exaggeration. This is the craziest house I've ever seen in my life. You know what? I don't like two. I'm, I'm just going to stick with one. It's a little bit too much overkill. It's artistic choice to have one. Let's see how Zombie's doing. I adjusted the top a little bit because he seemed claustrophobic. And I couldn't jump in and out easily. Now I can. And I can just let him sit in a hole. You know, he's happy. Trust me. Don't ask questions. He's happy. Hey, come here, sheep. Come here. I'm turning y'all small. 
That's so freaking awesome, dude. Look at how small they are. They're like action figures. Like, they, they remind me of the Minecraft toys that you see in Target or Walmart. Come here, sheep. You're getting yours. Oh, God. I shrunk myself. Come here. <laughs> the shadows stay the same size. It's so weird. Hey, zombie, what are you hungry for, bud? I got you a pork chop. Does that work? Talk to me. He's kind of upset. I think it's because he misses his family. But you're my family now. He loves the pork chop. It, yeah? You like it? That's a good. That's a yes for me, baby. Oh, yeah. All right, thus far, I need to show you guys my progress. If we go down into the under compartment, I have almost completely encased it in bedrock. I just need to work on the ceilings a little bit longer, and then we can truly put it to the test and see if our one-by-one -one bedrock house can survive a blast of TNT. I will also be trying to transport little zombie into the house. He can be my test dummy. <laughs> so if he dies, that means I would have died, I think. And it's not inhumane because he's not a human. He is a zombie. Duh. I did it! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did it, dude. Shut up, zombie! I really hope you die in this test because you're super annoying. I've had to listen to this. <clears throat> All freaking <laughs> all day, bro. Oh my god, I'll figure out how to get him in here right now. But as you can see, completely encased in uh, bedrock. This is probably the coolest freaking base I've made so far. All right, let's see if I can uh, get him with the fishing rod. Oh, wait. Oh, ooh, that actually kind of worked. Okay, I have an idea. I'm going to make a little staircase for him. Uh, we're going to get him out. We're going to shrink him. Oh, wait, if I push him in the lava, he'll die. Oh, my God. All right, this is going to be a little bit more complicated than I thought it was going to be. We're going to have to mine an underground tunnel all the way over to him to get him inside. I'm pretty sure that's the only way. Might as well start digging. No! He's running! Did you see that? Okay, he just tried to escape. I knew this might have happened, but I need to bring him over here. Come here. Yes, I'm your family. Come. Yes, it's working. No! No, he's running away. He is such a little rug rat. Get back here right now. You are so stupid. I hate you. All right, this is what I'm gonna do. Ha! Now you're trapped forever. <laughs> that was the only way. I can't trust this stupid zombie. Like, straight up. He's so mischievous. Yes, I'm getting him. I had to make a staircase for him to slide up, but he's almost in my clutches. Yes, you're doing it. Yes! We got him in! Now I gotta close you in. Hold on. Nice. Just stay right there, zombie. You don't gotta do nothing, bro. Just don't jump in the lava. Whatever you do, <laughs> please. And safe. He is a safe boy now. Yes, he is. All right, well, the potion also wears off on the zombie, so I gotta clap him with it every now and again. Sheep, you better get out of here because we're about to put this bunker to the test. Can you stop? You're ruining this. This is a very expensive neighborhood, sheep. You're griefing. Right, so here we go. There's our TNT block. We have our test dummy beneath. He is going to hopefully be protected from the blast. Uh, there's no, no way to tell. Goodbye! Oh! No! Oh my god, he lived! He freaking lived! Yes! Oh my god, okay. The lava stream surprisingly survived. Our moat, unfortunately, did not, along with the surrounding grass and part of the street, which, uh, you know, the town's not gonna be too happy about that. But the base is indeed unbreakable, as you can tell. Baby zombie survived. How you doing, little zombie? Okay, now I will murder you, because I hate you. Die. Get out of my video. Talk about an uninvited guest. Uh, <laughs> I think he's invincible. I think I, I got the one invincible zombie. All right, fine. He can stay. We're going to have to rebuild the moat at some time, but I didn't mean to spawn it. What? I didn't even know you could do that. What? This just opens up a whole new can of worms. I, I don't have time to look at this. <laughs> I don't even know. What is that? How did I get that? Well, like I said, the entire bottom of this base was completely protected, which is awesome because that means these blocks act exactly like normal normal bedrock. So this is truly an unbreakable base, or you could definitely make some different kinds of unbreakable bases. I gotta put my moat back because I actually really like that. That was like my favorite part of the whole thing. Lava is not TNT proof. Who knew? Not me. I really didn't. And there we go. Good as new. I put the moat back in just because I like it. I want to be able to go back in future videos and compare houses. What do you guys like better, the diamond house or the bedrock house? And if you could, what would you make with this mod? Let me know down in the comments. I have a few ideas of more videos like this, but I want to know what you guys think. But that just about wraps up this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. More Minecraft is on the way. Thank you all so very much. I'll see you in the next video <laughs> later. <laughs>